There we go. Hi, I'm Marlene Blessing with BeatingDaily.com, and we're in luck today. We have an expert with us, Mark Nelson from Rio Grande, who's going to show us how to make these cool flared ends that you can turn into great dangles on jewelry. Um, and all it takes is a little hammering, a little patience, the right tools, definitely the right technique. So I'm going to hand this over to you, Mark, okay. and let you work on the other end. There you go. Show us what to do. Well, the first thing you want to start with is, is hammering on a steel block. And you want to make sure that that block is polished and uh, free of nicks mm -hmm. or scratches because when you're hammering on it, um, it will imprint those onto the uh, onto the wire. Mm -hmm. And I had this on a sandbag because um, it, it get kind of loud, and the sandbag will help absorb the shock. Got it. You can see how much quieter so that is. So you won't get so many complaints. Right. And you can do this with a folded towel. Uh -huh. Works pretty good too. Okay. So. Um, Another thing is you got to think about the um, direction of the how you want to forge the wire. Right. If you use a cross peen, uh, the cross peen will um, direct the sh length of the wire. Um, it'll stretch it out. It'll stretch it, it out and, th and longer. Okay. Um, so if you want it longer, you go this way. If you want it wider, you would go that way because it's directional. Okay? Got it. Now, if you're just looking to widen things out, like we did on the other end, mm -hmm. a dome works really well because it just mushrooms out. Just flares. Yeah, it goes in all directions. Okay. So that's a great way to start. And you just take a domed hammer, um, it can be any kind of hammer, but you do want to make sure that the surface is polished. And smooth. And smooth. There again, scratches will imprint, and unless that's what you want. If you want lots of texture, yeah. that's the way to get it. If you want something that's really nice and reflective, you want to... And, um, just start kind of towards at the end, the medium to heavy pressure. Where you want it the thinnest. Right, the thinnest and the widest. Okay. Now you want to be careful um, to hammer evenly. Mm -hmm. If you hammer one side more than another, right. it'll actually bend the wire into, okay. into the opposite direction. If I hammer more here, that wire's going to bend this way. And it looks like you have a really gentle touch with this, which, you know, when I think metal, I think you've got to really work at it. You really don't. I'm, just, I'm tapping, really. I know. Um, this I know. is 16 gauge wire, so it's really easy. If we went to 10 gauge wire, then yeah, I'd have to really a little more force. A little more force. Okay. But you get that same effect of the kind of spoon bill end. Right. Um, and it makes a cool, cool dangle on, you know, a necklace or earrings right. or. And what you want to do is you want to uh, form with the dome end and then smooth it out and shape it with the flat end. Okay. Uh, a flatter end. Okay. And that'll make it uh, more smooth. You do want to work it from all directions, front and back, uh, not just one uh, direction at a time. Mm -hmm. um, you can work on the side and make sure it stays straight. And just keep on going. Nice. Until you eyeball it and it looks like what you want it to look Exactly. Like. So it's really easy. It's very cool, and it's a great way to start doing metal work. I mean, it's a simple thing to do. It's very simple. Mm -hmm. And it uh, doesn't require a lot of tools, it's not expensive, and it can give this great metal working touch to any of your designs. You know, just create dangles from this. Doing a little loop. Yeah. Thank you, Mark. You're welcome. Really appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, Mark. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>